These are all the things you need to make your, or different things that make a story newsworthy. Um, impact is, is basically just how it is going to impact the people who are reading it. So something, the great example for this sort one is that something that isn't very exciting or doesn't sound very exciting but impacts a lot of people is really newsworthy. There was, I think it was last year mostly, that there were all these forums about um, stormwater runoff fees. Yep. If you guys live in Northampton, you I know. All know. Yeah. All <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. and if you're a homeowner, you really know about it because you I mean, if you have a lot of sheds or something, you're paying a lot of money or a lot of pavement, you know, and and there were all these different ways that they were trying to figure out how they should uh, rate these fees for people. Um, I, I covered one of those meetings and I don't live in Northampton and I hadn't been following the issue as closely as I w was that night. Um, and people were really fired up about it, but it's hard, it's, it's a hard thing to, you know, when you write the first sentence, you're like, oh, this doesn't sound exciting, but it really, people were really fired up about it. And it impacted every homeowner in Northampton potentially. So um, that's a, a good reason for a, new, a story to be newsworthy. Timeliness is important, especially for breaking news. If there's an accident and it snarls your drive home after work and you don't hear about it until three days later, you totally don't even care. Maybe you don't remember that it even happened. <laughs> um, and especially with, like, I mean, we're at the newspaper, we're always worried about other news sites getting a story that we don't have. We're not exactly obsessed with getting it, like, online first, um, but that is important if you can do that. Um, and certain stories, timeliness is more important than other stories. Like the, your hard news, hard news stories, election results, no one cares two days later. Um, those are, uh, timeliness is important for those. If you have a feature story or like a big in-depth sto investigation story, it can be, it can take more time to develop and that can be okay. Especially, you know, you're writing a human interest story about like, you know, a veteran who has PTSD or something like that doesn't really, does, you don't have to do the interview and write the story the next day because that's going to be an interesting story whenever. So, uh, prominence, that one's pretty obvious. That's like if they're a prominent person. I mean, uh, I feel like the local example of that is um, the Holyoke Mayor Morse, like wh whenever, like his brother got arrested for heroin, I think, and then his cousin got arrested. And that made like huge amounts of news, even though. Um, you know, a, like a selectman's cousin gets arrested, no one, no one cares. And, um, you know, I, I mean, with celebrities and stuff, you see that stuff all the time, but certainly if someone's name is going to get a lot of recognition, then that's an important story. Sometimes we, um, we'll write about someone in district court and we won't even realize that they're a very important person because, I don't know, they work for an insurance company or something like that and they're prominent in the community and the next day we have to do another story and be like, oh yeah, remember that? That was this guy and here's all the local reaction. So, uh, Proximity is a big thing for the Gazette because we focus on local news because there are a million websites doing national news. We still run that stuff, but um, that's what we pride ourselves on and probably, you know, this is like a local news site, so that's going to be um, important. If you, we have people call us all the time and want us to do stories about like, you know, Springfield or Worcester or something like that. And we don't really have, we don't have readers there, but we also just like to focus on the local stuff. So anything that has a local angle is great. You know, if there's, um, I don't know, I, I, like anything, anything that's local is important. And there can be a national issue where you have a local angle. Like um, I interviewed a professor at Mount Holyoke who worked on a laser that was on the Mars rover. And that was really cool because it was like our own local connection to this thing that's on Mars, so that was really cool. Um, conflict, that's obviously something that's newsworthy because um, it, you know tensions are high and people are fired up about something, whether it's stormwater or, um, you know, or an election or contested election results, anything like that. Uh, human interest, that one's kind of harder to like, like say exactly what is important about it, but if you think it's interesting, it's probably interesting to other people, like someone who's a character or someone who has like a unique problem um, or a unique story about, I don't know. I wrote a story about a guy who was trying to uh, get a kidney and he had a really rare disease. And that was, you know, his story was a really interesting story. So that's why it was news very newsworthy. Um, news of the weird. <laughs> um, these are... Those are the stories that will get giant clicks, and like, especially the like the weirder they are, um, and and more prominent. Like I wrote a story about a um, restaurant where 
they, uh, an employee mis by mistake put a uh, chemical cleaner in food instead of cheese. He thought it was shaker cheese. And a woman got burns in her mouth, or a girl got burns in her mouth. Um, and she ended up being okay, and the restaurant didn't get fined or anything, but it was, it was so, it was such a mix of horrifying and really serious and also just freaky and weird that like someone would, there would be something there that wasn't cheese and yeah, so all that. So that, I mean, that gets picked up by the Associated Press and was like in stories in England and stuff like that because it was, and no, they don't, those people don't know where East Hampton is. They don't care about the proximity factor. They just care that it's like really freaky. Um, one of the stories that got a lot of clicks with that was years ago, I think it was about a two-headed frog or a two-headed bird, I can't remember what it was, but someone saw it and they sent us a photo of it and they were like, I saw this in my backyard. And my editor asked me if I could do it and I had too much other stuff so, I, so she gave it to someone else to do. And it was like hugely successful story and got like, you know, thousands of clicks and I was like, dang, I didn't know that was gonna go so crazy. So that's news of the weird, you know, people wanna hear about that weird stuff.